All right, pixel lovers, today's the day. So if you were contemplating getting the newly launched, newly released Samsung Galaxy S25 Edge, but eh, you were kind of disappointed at some of the statistics and some of the specs of the device and like, I think I'm gonna wait. Maybe I'll hold out for a little bit. Well, and if you're a Pixel owner, Google's got a surprise for you. They said, no worries, we got something in the works for you. And this morning, boom, they released Android 16 Beta 4.1. It is rolling out right now. And I'm getting it on my device at the moment. And it's got some bug fixes that, we'll, that we will discuss and get into. And it's interesting because this should be probably the last beta update before stable android 16 rolls out next month it's scheduled to roll out the stable build scheduled to roll out next month um, and should come with some injury we should get some new features uh, this one we will dive into not many new features here but some bug fixes and i'll get into one of mine that hadn't really been a big issue but a um, little little uh, uh thorn in the butt but not all the time it, it wasn't a big issue but if you're a pixel lover today is a good day and i will link in the video description below and also briefly before we get out of here make a quick video uh tell you how you can enroll and enjoy it, the beta life now this is a pretty it's pretty stable as is right and uh, actually i'll get into it right now my the one bug that i was having and i i, re I really don't experience a lot of bugs i know it can be uh, a little intimidating when you see some of these betas roll out and say oh we fixed this we fixed that we fixed this and you're i know some people might, might be thinking god damn that's that's a lot of issues right well not everybody has all those issues right you may have one there's been there's a lot of times where they say we fixed this issue this issue that issue that issue and i'm like well i haven't had any of those you know what i'm saying everybody's different um the one issue i've had is in my recents so if I swipe up and hold, it goes to my recents, uh, my recent applications that are running in the background. And there will be some times where I try to swipe the app away and it won't swipe, right? It won't swipe it away. It won't close it out. It'll kind of act like it goes up, but then it won't go up. So uh, we'll see if, if that uh, fixes mine, but it's not a big issue. And if you do have that, all you can do is just long press. Once you get into your recents, just long press on the app icon at the top and then you will get a full list of menu options to do with that uh, uh, running application and you can just simply hit close now and it, it does the same thing as swiping just closes it out you just got to do the manual way but um so they are google's rolling out android 16 beta 4.1 to pixel devices nearly four weeks after the last scheduled update now this is, let me show you here. This is update, well, excuse me, this is build number BP22.25032512 with the April 2025 security patch. Now, I'm going to get into that. Actually, let's jump into that real quick. Here's the interesting thing because over here on the official Android developers website, it says the security patch level is april 2025 now why do i say that's interesting because i already have the april security patch on my pixel matter of fact let me show you what i'm talking about you would think it, you would think it would be the may security patch right because we're rolling into the next month so i'm not sure if that's a uh typo or what normally when you get the next month's update you get the next month's security patch level correct uh let's see here i am on uh, yeah i'm already on april security I'm, I'm on um android beta 4 now this is 4.1 but i don't know it's weird uh may, maybe it's just a typo who knows uh i i don't know i guess we're about to find out once i update my phone but getting into the issues let me go over here to uh, uh, 9 to 5 Google. They have a good typed up article. The developers, we'll, get, we'll jump back there, but the developers uh, website can be a little um, plain, so to speak. <laughs> um, but uh, let's let's jump in now. This is available for Pixel devices 
all the way from uh, uh, the brand new, newly released Pixel 9a, going down to the Pixel 6. So anywhere, if you have anything in between the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6, all the way up to the newly released Pixel 9a, you can get and still enroll in Android beta if you choose. Now they fixed an issue that impacted haptic performance. I never had an issue with that. Fixed an issue that impacted 4K video recording at 4X telephoto. Fixed the weather map disappearing. Fixed a lock screen shortcuts triggering a uh, with a single tap. They also fixed an issue where the microphone indicator is stuck on. They also fixed an issue where audio fails to play from the NDK. Fixed a constant battery drain issue. That's huge. Uh, I have not had a battery drain issue on my phone. My battery life has still uh, been pretty rock solid. Now, when I first got this device, it was off the charts. But uh, not saying it took a nosedive. But when you do run beta software, uh, you know, that's one of the risks you take. It's not bad by any means. I still It still lasts me more than a day. Uh, still way above average. Uh, but for some, they did have a drain bug, and this will fix it. They also fixed a black navigation bar appearing on transitions, and then fixed it. Google app crash when loading a website. Um, eligible devices, we had just gone over. They have the factory images there, but uh, if you're new to this, I wouldn't suggest flashing an image. Just enroll in the uh, beta program. And actually, let's jump over back to the developer's website. And... Let's see, the only thing extra here is, let's see, I will link the, are there any more updated developer and user reported issues that were fixed? Uh, fixed an issue of a haptic performance, we went over that, radar map disappearing. Uh, fixed an issue that caused the system to restart when a call was answered in some situations. They also fixed an issue that caused a restart when finger, uh, excuse me, when screen magnification is enabled. Fixed an issue where screen saver did not start. Fixed an issue where phone restarted when ranging API used. Uh, let's see, excessive power drain got fixed. Anything else? doesn't look like it so if you are interested in the android 16 beta 4.1 it's never too late right this is probably this is probably going to be the most stable beta build uh, available typically when they first release a new android version let's say um uh, like next month when android 16 comes out well the next version is is android 17 right so you'll 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 start getting betas when you first enter the beta program early in its development. That's when obviously you'll see or you could experience a number of bugs. When you get towards the end uh, of a build like this, as we're expecting to get the stable build of Android 16 next month, um, there's hardly any bugs, right? So if you want to enjoy some of the beta features, maybe you've seen some features online that you want to test out and try that are not available on the stable build. Now is the best time to enroll is again, when once we wind down the beta program for this uh, build. Now you will be able to, if you enroll to the beta program, let's say, and then, cause what will happen is like, say myself, I'm in the beta program. Android will release stable android 16 next month and that'll get pushed to all beta users the stable build and then what they do is you can choose to stay in the stable build or you have the option to stay in or continue the, the beta program right they give you that option so you can either stay in the beta or you can exit so what i'll typically do is once a new build rolls out i will exit the beta program and I'll let the first one or two betas uh, be issued. And then typically on like right around the third beta that comes out, then I'll jump back in it again. Typically the very, very first beta maybe have a few extra bugs that I'm not willing to put up with. Um, but they do give you that option, right? If you want to leave, you certainly can. 
and make sure you subscribe to the eSIM Studios YouTube channel because you, you ride along with me in these beta programs, right? I'll always let you know, hey, uh, there's a window here where you can exit the beta program and stay in stable, or uh, quite the opposite, right? We always let you know when the next window is available to uh, enter or exit a beta program. So uh, we are a pixel heavy channel here. We are hashtag team pixel, even though hashtag team pixel got deleted. And even though I have a Samsung shirt on, I was, I've been wearing pixel merchandise for the last two to three days. So we're heavy, heavy pixel over here, heavy Android over here, but uh, we're fanboys of not only Pixel, we're fanboys of Samsung, we're fanboys of, of OnePlus, we're, fan, uh, uh, we're fanboys of, of nothing. So we are pro Android here at eSIM Studio. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for all your Pixel news and updates. Everything you need under the sun, you'll find it here when it comes to the mobile technology eSIM Studio's YouTube channel. I do appreciate the time. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to update this thing. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll record something here shortly. Uh, once you get this thing booted up and check it out and see what we got under the hood. So appreciate the time. I'll see you later. Peace.